Hi and welcome back to MRTV. Facebook has done it again. They have surprised us all with a new software update for the Oculus Quest. Since today, everyone can simply use Oculus Workrooms. Oculus Workrooms is a new collaboration tool that will allow you to work in VR, in your Quest, together with your colleagues, as if you were sitting in the same office, collaborating, giving presentations, brainstorming together. Yeah, like showing what's on your computer to the others. It is pretty amazing. I've tested it out and I can tell you it is brilliant, really brilliant. And well, that comes from me as a person who likes to criticize Facebook for what they do with all the privacy settings and so on and so forth. But this is simply great. And I've recorded my first steps and I'm going to show them to you now. Enjoy. Welcome to Workrooms. What you see here is my virtual desk. And when I started the app, I configured it to match my real desk, as you can see here. Let us directly enter the test workroom. The workrooms are the places where you would meet your colleagues in order to collaborate, in order to present something. And now this is working. This is loading, first of all. And use the whiteboard button on your desk to draw right from your seat. And I'm going to show you all of that. All right, so here we are. This is one of the workrooms. And as you can tell, I've already drawn something to the whiteboard. I'm going to show you in a moment how that works. Very nice environment. And let me show you more. So room, everything works with hand tracking as well and also with the controllers, I'm going to show you that in a moment. So seating layout, this is the default layout, but I can also change to conversation, for example, change. And now I can have a better conversation with my colleagues, for example, or I can also go to presentation. And in presentation mode, well, we will be sitting here and one of our colleagues would be presenting something and I'm going to show you that in a moment as well how that would work but let's go back to the default layout and let me show you how to write something onto the board so I can go to here desk whiteboard and now I see this here on the desk what's on the whiteboard and let me simply take my controller now because I want to show you something, something which is really cool. So set up your desk whiteboard to draw. Okay, create. So I can use the controller to really draw. And to do that, I have to draw along that circle that I see here. And Okay, and I'm done. And now what I can do, uh, let me clear up that first. New whiteboard. Okay, I'm creating a new whiteboard for you to see. So when I change the controller and I hold it like a pencil, this will change to a marker, to a marker. And I can now draw on my desk like so. M R T V. Okay, this still needs a bit of practice. And this is absolutely amazing. Still doesn't work perfectly, but for the very first version, this is already incredible. I can also do that actually and go to the board and also draw directly there. Then I would be drawing into the air, but I can also feel the whiteboard because when that virtual pencil, that word virtual marker meets the whiteboard, this would vibrate. Really, really cool. Yep, so this is how you can collaborate on that board. But you can do more. You can also see your actual desktop in VR. So I have two desktops here. And let me just choose the one that, that's standing here next to me. I click on connect. And then on my computer, actually, I have to confirm that I really want to do that. Let me do that right now. 
I've done so. And this is my, this is my actual computer screen here. So I can now use my, my mouse and my keyboard. Let me just get it. And here's my mouse. And I think you don't want to see the German version. You want to see the English version of my website. So here we go. If you have not checked it out yet, mrtv.co, you can read all my reviews there. It is a very nice website, I would say. So yeah, you can use your computer, your desktop in VR. And of course, also you can share the screen. So with your colleagues, you can talk about that website or whatever is on your screen. So this is absolutely cool. Of course, you can also hold a presentation. This is Google Slides, for example, and I can present a presentation. This is a German language about VR and AR in the working environment. It fits very well, I believe. So that is cool. But of course, you're asking yourself, so what about the keyboard? Wouldn't it be nice if you could see the keyboard in VR? And this is simply so amazing. Yes, you can. You simply go to this here, desk pass through, and boom, here, you cannot, unfortunately, you cannot see it because this is not being sent to the stream. I'm streaming this now in order to show you that. Here, I have the pass through now, and I can see my keyboard in VR. So this keyboard, I see it now in VR, and also my mouse. So I can simply now, without any problems, work in VR, type in VR, and do whatever I would do with my keyboard and my mouse. And only this area has to pass through. The rest, I still see the virtual environment and, and my colleagues. So this is absolutely a fantastic way to, to make this happen. And I'm absolutely fascinated by this. So let me stop the pass through. And let me go to the settings. So first of all, this is my Oculus avatar. And what I think is absolutely amazing, of course, when you meet others, you will see their avatars and the mouth movements. They are so well synchronized to what I actually say. It is so well done. You don't even need the mouth tracking. It's so good. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm a bit fascinated by this. So whiteboard and desk, if you have one of these keyboards here, the Apple MacBook Pro, the Apple Magic Keyboard, or the Logitech K830, you can choose them, and then your Quest would track those keyboards, and you wouldn't even have to do the pass-through. Absolutely fascinating. Absolutely fantastic. I am blown away by this. I must say I'm really, really blown away by what you can do here. And yeah, for, of course, for, for giving that presentation from before, I could do that. I could also then again change the room to presentation mode, change. And then I could just go to the whiteboard. And yeah, and give that presentation. Let me just go into present mode here. Here we go. And then I would here go to the whiteboard and do my presentation. I'm going to do that now for a moment, but I'm not going to talk because you won't hear me because my microphone is here next to the desk to my desktop. Go to the whiteboard. Don't forget the controllers. Yeah, <laughs> that's good that they tell me that. Exactly. Okay, now I'm here. I'm here and I can present whatever I want to present. Okay, back to the microphone. Use desk. Continue. And now I'm back. Yeah, absolutely fascinating. And Facebook has done it again. Absolutely. They have absolutely surprised us. And this is 
amazing. So as you can tell, even using this alone is already pretty cool, but using that together with others, with your working colleagues or with your friends collaborating on something, that is what I'm going to test next. And of course, I'm going to show it to you here on the channel. So if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, absolutely do that now and click on the bell button so that you don't miss that video. And if you enjoyed these first impressions of Oculus Workrooms, I'd of course be happy if you would give this video a thumbs up. Now I want to hear from you. What do you think about Oculus Workrooms and would you use it for work or together with your friends? Do let me know in the comment section below. That's everything for this video and I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.